One of the bigger things I'm learning in uh, working with this material is that a lot of it is, again, just boiling down to experimentation. So, for example, when we are calling to our abstract class shape, we need to make sure if we call to it that we use any abstract method and give it a definition before the program will like it. Otherwise, there's still something out there that's abstract and the program does not want to work with it. So, we're going to use the same abstract shape to create a square and so forth. So, I'm going to I'm going to clean up some of this extra stuff that we always see here. So, public class square is going to extend our shape attributes again. And again, it's mad because Square is not abstract and does not override ag abstract method perimeter in shape. So it wants us to make sure that we override perimeter. Okay, we can do that. So let's do it again. Um, we're going to say it's a square, so all the sides are going to be equal. It's private double my side. It's a weird name. I'm going to try something first. Um, well, we're going to first have to build a constructor. So public square, and the sides a double, and the strings a name. So we're going to super the name, send it to the abstract class, which again, shape has the receiver when it's being constructed for the name to construct my name equals name and we also need to make my side equal side there is something else oh I did a semicolon instead of a brace there we go need to put another brace down here and everyone's happy I'm going to try doing perimeter first to see if it yells at us for not having abstract area then. So let's try that. Uh, public double perimeter, because again, it's pulling the name from the parent class. And we're going to return four times my side. Okay, we satisfy perimeter. We'll go up here. Oh, now we didn't override the area method, eh? Okay, well, we'll take care of that. Public double area equals return. Well, it doesn't equal, but return my side times my side. Do you love us now? It does. So, we're going to create another square and then call to the um, the methods to finish constructing it. So I still have my circle so I'm just going to enter a few times and we're going to do this for the square. So square, I'm going to call this something different, I'm going to call it bacon because it's almost lunchtime for me, equals new square, we make the sides worth 6, eh, yeah 6.3 we're going to call it piggy Call it piggy and then it's just to make sure that it does it correctly we're going to print this out so uh, bacon dot area system dot out dot print line bacon dot perimeter system dot out dot print line bacon dot get name Okay, let's run it. There is my circle. The area of a square at 6.3 on the side is 39.69. 25.2 for the perimeter, and we named it Piggy. There's abstract methods for you. And abstract classes.